It's Yakuza review time. Yeah, I decided to use my whole model because not everyone's seen it, so we're doing that. And I have a, as you can see, I'm a dolphin. <laughs> Anyways, we're reviewing Yakuza 3 and 4 because I beat two games. Because I wanted to get 4 done with. <laughs> uh, let's go with 3. I hate the combat. Holy moly. <laughs> ah. Uh, for three, I hate how much they block and how much super armor they have and how much stupid the combat was. And then for the story, it was really good. It, it was really good, actually. I really liked it. It was. Uh, I can't explain the story, but it, it's all about Kiryu going back to fight for the Tocha Clan again. Woohoo! Who could have seen that one coming? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know the gameplay. Uh, the gameplay sucked ass. Uh, though there was really cool moves, I liked that. Especially the one where you could do, instead of pressing, like, the right button you, once, you get to do it again, and then it makes for more combos, and it's really fun. And it breaks guards a lot sometimes. Not in three. Not in three. <laughs> yeah, that was always real fun. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the uh, three story. I uh, it was an interesting take to begin with of Kiryu at an orphanage, because that's where two. And then for some reason he just left the person he kissed and and all that for like no fucking reason. Why? <laughs> Why Kiryu? Why? <laughs> they just left each other. And it's fucking stupid. And then she never returns ever again, ever. <laughs> Yeah, she doesn't return until like eight for like a cutscene, and that's it. So fucking stupid. So stupid. Uh, that's for three though. Uh, yeah, and then it's about him protecting his orphanage, basically, and plot to a CIA America, you know, casually fighting them, and then another gang, and then the Tojo clan. And we get to four. Yeah, if, see, if not, I'm joking. Three. Uh, yeah, three music was alright. I liked it. It was pretty good. Yakuza never fails on this music, nor does Sega, because Sega made this a, is a company that makes these games too. So uh, no surprise, the music is good because that's what Sega is great at. <laughs> Overall, it's pretty good. C plus for Yakuza three. This one's quick because uh, there's nothing much to talk about for three. Without spoiling the entire story, because of the, since it's the same, it's not really that much combat and all that. Because for, compared to four, which four is going to take most of this video? Because four plays four characters. Oh boy, <laughs> you play as some random dude. I don't remember his name, and nor am I going to put it on screen. He plays four people. And one of them is much his brother Kiryu, a detective and a finance guy that gives you money because in one and also four introduces the plot from one again for some reason real fun i don't know why but yeah uh it, it explains some more stuff that happened with the plot of one uh what else was there uh the combat was really good and you could just learn tiger drop if you saw my one of my videos you just go boom a boom a boom a boom <laughs> immediately over and over again i love tiger drop i did it for the final boss anthony was like be careful it's hard i'm like oh really I'm not going to sugarcoat it, and then I didn't sugarcoat it. I only had to use one healing item. I only got one continue out of the run get, running part, which is kind of stupid that I had one continue, and that counts as for some reason. Don't die in Yakuza! So I, in the, in the older ones, not the newer ones, but yeah. <laughs> That's real fun. Uh, the first guy I play is a Sky Finance guy, the owner of that, and his combat is uh, right, he's pretty wide. This is, he's, I guess he's more speed. He's the Mario of the series, I guess. I'm like, yeah, he's the Mario, basically, of the game. Where it's, like, all around. He does heat and HP combined together. Also, you can't upgrade your HP and, and he It's just automatically when you level up. You can't just do it on your own. Pretty stupid. Um, but, oh, well, I got over it. It was not that big of a deal. <laughs> I guess it's for a character for the moment. Uh, he, uh, yeah, uh, he was the he had them evenly out, so they upgraded at the same time, which is real fun. Um, he, he's more about speed and everything and doing heat actions. I guess he's like Kiryu. He's somewhat like Kiryu, but a bit worse, obviously. <laughs> 
because he's more reliant on speed and multiple damages. Um, and we got uh, Sajima. I remember him. Boy, I love playing that as him. I have no idea what Anthony was talking about. That guy is so fun to play as. You just like charge up punches and you go boom, boom, boom with the right, and it's so fun. It's like Kiryu's thing. And yeah. And Akiryu also has the same moves as three, so that's fun and lovely. And uh, what else was there? What else? What else? What else? Ah, uh, there was also, uh, yeah, Sajima's story. It was pretty good. And Majima's brother, so we got more of Zero gameplay. And that gameplay of story, even though basically, yeah. And it uh, yeah, and uh, what else was there? Uh, no, there's Tiger, no, not Tiger. <laughs> there was a, uh, yeah, his brother. Majima got arrested for some reason, for like no reason, so. Story's out there. Well, there's a lot of moments like, why the fuck did that happen? But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's still a good story. I, Anthony's being over dramatic about that shit. It's pretty good still. I don't, I'm not going to complain about it. It's still a good story. Good story. Good story. Uh, I would recommend it as not as your first, but if you like Yakuza, I would still recommend it. <laughs> uh yeah uh what else is there what else is there? uh and then yeah after sajima because he, he's he, yeah he's the guy who killed people and zero like the beginning of zero majima story and why he got yeah, lost his eye and blah 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 we get where you're taught we got taught that from there because originally we weren't taught that in one i mean that one zero I mean, we were taught that. No, we we weren't originally taught that because zero came after five. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then there was a uh, after that. There's uh, there in the new place this detective guy Kiryu's last for some reason. Uh, he never shows up again apparently in any of the stories for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah, he's a parry, so you can just guard and like no parry them uh yeah that's pretty fun too parry guy <laughs> he's a detective so you can arrest people that's where arrests come from it's a heat action but it kind of slows down the game a bit for it not really that good because it's like i'm trying to go for the kill but now you just have to do a quick a, a, a quick time event for some reason for arresting instead of just kick him on the ground because on the ground is and they and the kicking one or the exact same one which is fucking stupid but i don't really care that much it didn't bother me it's not that big of a deal uh and then we get to cure you tiger drop tiger drop is just learnable you don't have to go out around about and get it on your own it's so lovely uh i abused the fuck out of that at the end game <laughs> as you heard Kiryu, uh, he's just kind of put in the story, but it makes sense why he's there. It's Kazuma Kiryu. Uh, story, yeah, the story, yeah, pretty good. I still like the story. It's, it's good. Unlike what Anthony says, don't listen to him. He's a fucking dumbass. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then we got, uh, Kiryu. It's the same movement as three, moveset as three, but done better. So, and you get his three moveset too. I think you just get them unlocked if you have three. Which is real fun. I don't know. It's just a theory. And then you get Tiger Drop, obviously. So fucking busted. You could just learn that and go, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, what else was there? What else? Uh, story. Final boss. Final boss. Uh, yeah, it was really good for every single one except the last one. Because you just fight a lot of guys, and then afterwards, then, they, then the guy, the, the boss itself just shoots at you in the background. It's kind of, kind of lame. But it was still fun. It was still alright. Alright. It was, it was not the funnest thing. A little annoying, but not that bad. Not that hard to deal with if you just have healing items and have patience. Unlike fucking Anthony. Uh, <laughs> it really, four was alright. I really did enjoy it more than three. So it's a B for me. I giving four a B because I did enjoy the game. I legit really don't have problems with it. Maybe C. Uh, I don't think I. No, not a C for three. I think it was... No, no, B minus for three. Yeah, that's more like it. Even though... No, C plus. Combat sucks. I fucking hated the combat in three. <laughs> yeah. So, Yakuza is a B. And then uh, Yakuza 4 is a B. And then Yakuza th 3 is a C plus. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's really good. <laughs> that is my review of these games. 
three was really short because there was not much to go over besides like without spoilers it's like carry you hot up thing ah <laughs> you just had like a uh, the orphanage and all that in story without i can't really explain the story without spoiling because i don't want to do spoilers just say it's part of part of the final boss though so and the final boss is fun with the story that isn't that much of spoilers like here in an orphanage that's like the first thing you see and that's what it, it's in the description i believe too i don't know but uh yeah <laughs> That is the review of Yakuza 3 and 4, and I'm playing 5 right now. Well, not right now. Well, I am. I am playing 5. But, I, uh, I'm getting Tiger Drop, and so yeah. And I have been pretty busy for a while, so. More and more of just me not wanting to do shit, so. Depression! Yay! But yeah, of that, I think that'll be it. Yeah, that's my review. Yay! Now I will be going once again. Goodbye, people. Bye-bye.